Jimmy Garza, unbeaten in 40 bouts, 25 years of age, born in Santa Cruz, California, against Juan Meza, 40 and 6, 31 knockouts. He's 28 years of age. He weighed in at 121 and one half pounds, as did Garza. There is our tail of the tape and a slight reach advantage to Meza that should not be a factor. Scoring by three judges at ringside, Louis Rivera from the Bronx, New York, Carol Castellano from New York City, Bernie Friedkin from New York as well, and the referee who will not figure in the scoring, Johnny Lobianco from New York, scoring on the 10-point must system. Nine points or fewer to the loser of a round, and there can be a 10-10 even round. There will be a mandatory eight count. The count continues after the bell, except in the 12th round. We hear Johnny Lobianco with his final instructions. It's not an effect. If you score a knockdown, go to a neutral corner. Do not leave the corner until I wave you out. Watch your low blows, kidney punches, rabbit punches. They are foul. I want you to break and set back clean when I command you to break. You shake hands now. Come on, boxing at the bell. Good luck to both of you. Twelve rounds. The title distance for the WBC. And Garza's corner is manager Benny Giorgino with trainer John Montez. Father of former uh, fine lightweight star John Montez Jr. and Jimmy Montoya is the manager and trainer of Juan Mesa. He also is one of the most prominent men in boxing, as is Giorgino. Jimmy Montoya. And we're ready to go with round number one. Five foot nine, Mesa, five foot seven. Garza, actually two tall guys for 122 pounds. And the first left hook is landed by Garza to the face of Mesa. Garza in white, Mesa in red. These two Californians traveling all the way across America to settle a title in Kingston, New York. Garza was born in Santa Cruz and raised in Texas. He's an American, and the Mexican Mesa now divides his time between his hometown of Mexicali in Mexico and Los Angeles. There's a solid left that sends Mesa down. Garza directed to the neutral corner and Meza takes all of the eight seconds to get up. So a startling flash knockdown by Jaime Garza with Meza taking another left hand and now he scores a left. Tim Garza is usually the guy that's susceptible early. He's been on the deck four times, always in an early round, and has gotten up to win. This time, the other guy's on the deck. And also, you'll notice the, small, the smaller waist these guys match for the two up process. They go right at each other, and they're going bombs. Good left jab by Meza to the face of the champion Garza. Garza in white. And those are good combinations scored by the challenger. Tim Mesa was so calm when he got knocked down, I was afraid he wasn't going to get up. <laughs> I did, too. I had the same thought. Gil, I didn't know whether he was really stunned or whether he was totally in control, and apparently he was in control as he's come back strongly. He took the full eight seconds on the seat of his pants and then got himself ready for battle. Tim, it's quite a statement to say that the guy is the hardest puncher in boxing today, pound for pound. But in my opinion, that's what Gaza is. He can really get you out of there with one punch. I don't know too many other fighters that can do that. Caught Garza backing out. And there's a good solid left jab by Mesa. He has rallied quite well from the early knockdown. Good left hook to the body by Mesa, Tim. Garza's making the mistake of falling in with his hands down. There's another left hook that sends Mesa down. Do they count that or not? Evidently not. No, he threw him left. down, Tim. No knockdown. Johnny Lobianco, the referee from New York. Tim, the, the big difference that I see so far is that Garza is much the shorter puncher of the two. He'll beat Mesa to the punch. Mesa is a wide puncher. Oh, oh big left hand. And goes Garza to Mesa. Sends Garza to the canvas. And he hit his head as he went down. And he is groggy. Trying to get up. He may not make it. It is all over. Jaime Garza is unable to continue. A big left hand by one Kid Mesa in the first round. And there is a new WBC Super Bantamweight champion. Tim, Jimmy Montoya told me that Mesa was going to knock him out, and he sure was right. What an upset. Undefeated Jaime Garza, 40 professional bouts. Undefeated. Mesa had lost six 
times in his 46 victory in his 46 fights, but he is the winner with a stunning left hand and a still groggy Jaime Garza being attended to in the far corner. He tried gamely to get up, but you could see by the look in his eyes he had no idea where he was and could not retain his balance. Let's go back and see the knockdown. There was Garza reaching in, Tim, and he's wide open, and Mazur throws the short left hook, and down he goes. Huge punch. We'll see it again. What well, mistake that Garza was making was coming in with his hands down. And here, Mazur throws the left hook, a beautiful time punch. Perfectly timed shot by Juan Kid Mazur. Look at those eyes, Tim. Jaime Garza, I'm sure, although he has been down, four previous fights in the early rounds has never been rocked like that. He tried to get up on instinct and just simply didn't have it, did not have the ability to clear his head. Now there he is up and apparently all right. So there is your new WBC Super Bantamweight Champion, Juan Kid Mesa, and a stunning first round knockout. Now we can call her Lily. Wow! 